My name is Stephanie Cole, and I'm Associate Professor of History at the University of Texas at Arlington. My teaching tip has to do with using a response system in order to increase participation in a large lecture hall. Any instructor who has taught in a large lecture hall knows a lot of the perils of this process. Students get involved in Facebook or whatever they're looking at in their laptop. Um, other students who are engaged in the lecture don't feel empowered to respond. When you ask questions, the same eight people who are smart enough and confident enough to respond, continually respond. So what I've decided to do and what I've been using over the last few years is a personal response system. I've used a couple of different systems for this process. I've used actual clickers. I have used also lecture tools, which the University of Texas at Arlington uh, is subscribed to. There are others that are free on the internet as well. My advice if you want to do this after listening to my tip is that you do some research yourself. You talk to the Center of Distance of Education, in particular Don Lane, or the Center for Teaching Excellence. So let me tell you what I do. I'm in humanities, in the humanities, and it's a little bit different to use these, this instructional system in the humanities than it is to use it in a science or a math or an engineering discipline in which there are problems that you can ask, get students to solve the problems, and then share their responses. In the humanities, there are very few answers to questions that are right and wrong, or at least not as many interesting ones. So I follow three different types of questions when I use a personal response system in class. Sometimes I start a class with an icebreaker. This will have to do with a novelty aspect of history. Students assume that the Puritans were all like pilgrims in dark black and no fun at all. When I catch them in this misunderstanding, it's a way to launch a lecture about Puritan life in early colonial New England. I also use clicker responses when there's a right or wrong answer to some content, some questions that I've gone through. I might have students put something in chronological order or simply to ask them to employ um, a theory like the culture of honor to a different group of people than the people I've actually discussed in class. Here there's a right or wrong answer. Students are polled. If um, if most of them get it right, which is often the case, the few who don't get it right can see, ooh, I missed something here, and it was me, not everybody else in the classroom. I need to pay more attention. But what I think is the most important way to use a personal response system in class is to get students to think about process questions. For example, I'll ask the students, was the Whiskey Rebellion evidence of continued uh, uh, liberalism or new conservatism? Well, the answer to this question is not cut and dried. It depends on how you're defining those terms, liberal and conservative. It depends on what part of the Whiskey Rebellion you look at. So I can poll the students on this question and they'll be understandably split in their answer, but they won't really know why. I'll ask them to talk to their neighbors, to try to convince them to answer, to give their answer the next time I re-poll. So they talk about these various things. We talk about the process of deciding what these terms mean and what, how to use the data of the uh, Whiskey Rebellion to answer the question. Um, and when we get to the end, it's clear that there's not a right or wrong answer, but there is a right way to think about the answers to such questions. And so we have spent 15 minutes of a class talking about historical analysis, how to answer a question like this. So what I like about using a personal response system in class is that it does first keep students engaged. And students tell me they like this part of the process. They like being called back if their attention has wavered uh, by something going on in the class or in their own minds. They also like being asked their opinions of questions because sometimes my icebreaker questions in particular are about personal opinion and not about fact. They also like um, being able to participate and getting their participation counted um, in a large class like it is in a small class. But what I like most about a personal response system is that it asks me to think about my material in new ways. In order to write a question that will inspire such debate, I have to think about my material in particular ways. I have to think about the process of historical analysis and how to prompt my students to do this. 
So as over the past several years as I've used this process, I've really become enamored of the way it can change my teaching as much as it can help students engage in their own learning. Thanks.